my name is Outsider2522 and welcome to another Eidolon video. Today we're going to be looking doing something a little bit different. We're going to be starting a whole new series um, that I'm going to title The Worst Moves in Eidolon. Now this series is inspired by a YouTube content creator by the name of Josh Strife Hayes who does the Worst MMO Ever series. Fantastic critique where he breaks down the mechanics, why they don't work, how they can be improved. So let's talk about it. Before I say too much, remember to like, share and subscribe. It helps the channel to grow. And a little disclaimer. This is not meant to be an attack on Lava at all in how he creates the game. It's his game. It's a fantastic game. I've spent many hours on it. There are things which I don't like. There are things which I love about it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't put so much time into it. Into it. However, I do think that everything has a right to be critic, critiqued. Okay, not everything is perfect, we all make mistakes, and let's hope that maybe some of this feedback will feed back to Lava, and he might make some adjustments. I'm not saying he will, nor do I hold the man responsible if he doesn't. Again, it's his game to do what he wants with it. We as a community can choose to support if we like the changes, or refuse it if we don't. At the moment, I'm currently loving the game, hence making this channel based around it. I just think there are some things that could be better. Okay, so the skill we're going to be looking into today is on the Siege Breaker, and it's called Unending Loop. Now, on the surface, this skill looks like it might make the game more idle. For those of you who've been playing for a while, you'll understand Eidolon is not, in fact, an idle game. It's a very active game. We're hidden under the precept of being idle, okay? But the high-end, top-tier players do not play this game idly. You can't, there is too much to manage. So the skill Unending Loot, what does it do? It's a sailing skill. And in essence, you will send out your ships to collect loot. They will go out, they will collect treasure. In essence, you're creating a fleet of pirates. They grab a, they grab a treasure and they come back with a chest. You can only hold a certain number of chests. Once you reach the limit of chests, um, your guys will go out for one last time and they will stack and they will sit in your base, okay? At this point, you now can hold twice as many chests, but your, your people will not go out on any more journeys. Now, to circumvent this, to go around it, you can use unending loot. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop you from getting your final chest, but every time a sailor returns, there is a chance it will upgrade the loot in your chest. Okay? Again, as I say, this makes it more idle, so it... it it sounds as though if you're going to be AFK for a long time, this skill is worth using. Let's look into whether it is or isn't, because I've got some numbers for you. Okay, so all these tests were done with um, a max level unending loot, so level 245. I've also got Rift Slug unlocked, which means that my um, total skill level is above 300. Um, I'm missing one, because one level because technically I could... Um, increase the skill that gives you a boost every 20 levels can't remember the name of top head um but that's not going to make a huge difference i'm basically as high as you're going to be able to get unending loot um which means that you get uh, there's over a 50 percent chance that my loot will be upgraded now i ran this with a 5.5 days okay so i stockpiled a ton of time i was able to do this using do so um, it's kind of hard to replicate and it's kind of hard to um, get exact numbers now with do because you just end up stacking savings on. Um, but from 5.5 days, the amount that we got was 66.59 million loots. Okay, I won't go into each individual one, um, but you can tally it up yourself. I did do some rounding on it, so you might get a slightly different number. But yeah, 66.59 million loots. Uh, we're going to look at how much I get on a much lower time now and see if it's comparable. Okay, so in just a two hour session, all right, now we're expecting this to be what? There's 12 lots of two hours in a day, five days, potentially 1 60th of the loop. So in two hours, I managed to get 20.37 million. Okay, now that's a significantly higher number than anticipated, which is very, 
very shocking. Let's look into some more. So the next thing I look into is if I remove unending and I stack maximum chests, how much loot do I get? Now I did this over eight hours. It was the lowest range that I could get, unfortunately. However, I would max out somewhere between two and four hours because my minimum travel time is about 90 minutes. It shows two hours on the thing. However, um, idle on toolbox, I think it is, shows it at 90 minutes. So I'm, I'm assuming it's 90 minutes, but there's a graphical glitch in it that says that you can only do two hours. Um, without unending and stacking my chest, I get 24.01 million loot. Okay. It's not a huge upgrade from using unending short term. Uh, it's about 4 million more because in that two hours of um, unending, I actually went back and forth more than once. It's about 4 million more, uh, which doesn't sound like a huge amount, but in terms of numbers, it's about a 20% increase. Now, running that um, in terms of it, if you were to do this, say, for 12 hours in a day, so you did this three times in a day, you would already be over the amount that unending got in 5.5 days. Unending seems to be majorly underpowered in terms of just raw numbers. It's not outputting as much numbers as much loot as you would want. Also, you add the caveat to it that sailing works off of trying to unlock artifacts. Artifacts are very powerful and they work similar to unlocking plants if you've seen my previous video. In that once you get to the high tier artifacts and you get to the um, Eldritch, the drop chance is like 0.01 even if you get artifact find. Now at this point you're better just unlocking more chests because rolling at 0 0.01 is better than rolling a tenth of as many at 0 0.02. So more chests is more artifacts which is what you're going to need. It also is more loot. Unending loot is sounding less and less tempting by the minute. Can I think of a scenario when you would use it? Yes I can. If, like myself, and I'm by no means the top sailor in the game, but I'm at a point where I'm comfortable. My boats are leveled up enough. Okay, I haven't quite reached level 300 achievement, but over time that will come. And I want to be a little bit more idle and less micromanaging of systems. This skill allows me to do that because I can click and forget. I don't have to check as often. I can go and do other things, come back a couple of times a day, get my loot, still do upgrades, still buy gold bars, just not as efficiently. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for my time because I don't want to spend as much time micromanaging systems. Another benefit is if you're trying to level up your sailing level. Now, if you use the other method and you stockpile chests, once you hit your cap, your sailors will not go anymore, which means you will not get sailing XP, you will not get captain XP. If you have unending loot on, they will constantly go back and forth, which means you are constantly going to be getting Captain XP, which will help you get your level 15 achievement. And they will constantly increase your sailing level, which will give you more stat points. How beneficial this is to you in the long run depends upon where you are as a player. However, those are the two scenarios where I can find that this skill might be useful. If you've got any more, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about this skill. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see at all, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, you've been amazing. Take care.